Okay, so this question says solve the simultaneous equation, equation, question 15. So I've got uh, first equation with x and y, second equation with x and y. And in order to solve this, I'm going to have to multiply this equation by a number and multiply this equation by a different number, the aim being to get the x's the same. And I can pick numbers easy. If I times this equation by the first number here, and then times this equation by the first number here. So I'm going to times the top equation by 2 and the bottom equation by 3. And I'm going to end up with two equations where the values of x will be the same. So 3x times 2 is 6x. 4y times 2 is 8y. And 5 times 2 is 10. And now I choose the second one. 2x times 3 is 6x. I've made my x is the same. Minus 3y times 3. Be careful at the minus sign. Minus 9y. And 9 times 3, 27. And then the method is to subtract these equations. Subtract one equation for the other. And if we do that, these x's will disappear. So 6x, take away another 6x, so 6x, take away another 6x is nothing. Here I have to be careful with the minus sign, so 8y, take away minus 9y. So I'm going to do a little calculation on the side just to make sure I don't make a mistake. 8, take away minus 9. And if you can remember, if you subtract a negative, it becomes a positive, so that becomes 17. So 8y take away minus 9y is 17y. And 10 take away 27 is minus 17. And now I can solve this equation by dividing by the number in front of y here. So y is minus 17 divided by 17. So y is minus 1. So there's my first answer. Now that I've found a value for y, I can substitute this value into any of the equations I have made, either these two here or the two I've been given. I'm going to choose this equation at the top. I'm going to choose this one because the numbers are smallest and the value of y is positive here. There's a plus 4y. So I'm going to do 3x plus 4y, 4 times y is minus 1. 4 times minus 1, that's going to be minus 4. And that equals 5. So now it's a simple equation to solve. The 4 jumps over and becomes a plus 4. So I get 3x equals 5 plus 4 is 9. And x is 9 divided by 3. So x equals 9 divided by 3 is 3. There's my other value. I'm going to write both these values in the answer box at the bottom. x equals 3 and y equals minus 1.